This is Nate of the Nathan's Road in Washington blog. I'm doing an honest video review of the Philco TB100HH9. That's B as in boy in the model number. It's a DTV digital to analog converter box. And it's basically a box that you can use to hook up to your old analog TV to get digital channels that is now being broadcast in place of the old analog channels. And I paid about $60 or so about a couple years ago when I bought it. And I think now this particular unit is discontinued. So the only way you can get it is probably through eBay or through a secondhand store like Goodwill or something like that or there's some in the Seattle area there's some secondhand electronic stores I know one's called RePC they sell old computer parts and electronics and stuff like that that people don't use no more so you might be able to find one there and this Philco model I'm reviewing is similar to a Memorex model that was also sold around that time. It has similar model numbers, except it had um, M in it for Memorex, something like that. It was pretty close to this model number. And I want to talk about the box's physical appearance next. It's 9 inches by 2 inches by 6 inches approximately. That's not exactly what it is but it's pretty close to that and it's only about one pound so it's very light and when it's turned on it has a green power light and it's not too distracting it's kind of a small little light in the center of the front of it and And I want to mention that there are no buttons on the unit itself. So in order to do anything, like even just to turn it off, the only way you can turn it on and off without unplugging or plugging it in is to use the remote control that was provided with it. And also included besides the remote is a manual and RF cable, you know, like the kind that you hook up from the TV to the converter box. And this particular model did not have a RCA cable. That's the kind with the yellow, white, and red cable or ends. I'm sure you probably know what I'm talking about. They're, they run about $10 at like a Walmart or Fred Meyer or Kmart or Sears. It, so this model doesn't have that so you have to buy one or you can just probably you, you might even have one with one of your other electronics equipment that maybe you're not using now on to the setup it, it's fairly easy to set up if you if it's never been turned on before it automatically goes into the setup menu and all you have to do is just select a few things using the remote it's not too hard to set up and it automatically scans the channels for you. However, if if you're getting this thing second hand that's already been used and opened, you would have to go into the setup menu by using the setup button on the remote. And then there's an option at the bottom that says initial, and that would automatically set up. It'll go through the setup process as if you just bought the thing. And when it scans for channels, it scans for all kinds of different channels. It'll scan for HD channels, SD channels, and even audio only channels. Which is one of the nice things about digital TV is they have audio channels too. And the HD, HD channels that come through on this box are not in high definition resolution. They're only at the 480 lines or so that standard definition TV is. So I want to make that clear. And if you have a 4 by 3 um, ratio TV, not widescreen, but you know, one of the older sets, you can um, go into the menu and you can change the settings for 
how you want the picture to be displayed. You can display it as is. You know, on a widescreen channel, it will look squished. So there's two options. You can make it so there's um, black bars at the top and bottom of the screen. Or you can zoom in so it cuts off the sides. However, if you're using this box with a 16 by 9, 16 by 9 inch TV, which is like a widescreen TV, there is no way to add the sidebars to a fourth, you know, programming to programming that's broadcast in the four by three, you know, the old format, not widescreen, but just regular standard format video. So you have to change it through your TV. You can't do it with the converter box in that case. And then I want to talk about the analog pass-through feature.